I'm Adam, this is my brother Shane. We just got done seeing Terminator Dark Fate. Let's just get right into it. This is the sixth Terminator movie, and the first one you have seen. Yep. Okay. To completion. To com <laughs> I saw the first one on TV. How old so were you? Was, oh boy. Middle school probably. So you've seen none of them. We're gonna no, go. We're gonna go with you've seen none slate. of them. All right. What's happening with my collar here? There's a lot of Pop stuff. It. There's a lot of stuff going on <laughs> right now. The question is though, why? Why do we need another one besides Hollywood making money? And I think the answer to that is money. to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think to some people it was to maybe try to make something that's, you know, just as good as Terminator Two or One. Um, and not as embarrassing as T3 and Genesis and Salvation. And this this worked for me. I thought Terminator Dark Fate was a damn fine movie. No, it's not as good as 1 and 2, and you should absolutely see them. You can skip all it. the other ones, though. I, I, I haven't heard good uh, good things. I probably... No, it's, it's, it is, it's brutal. It's a pretty brutal experience all around. What this reminded me of, uh, very much so, was Halloween that came out a year or two ago, which, for some reason, they just called Halloween to confuse every single person out there, because it's actually a remake of... Not a remake. It's uh, a, like a... It's a redo. Extended sequel. Well, it's a... Yeah, well, it's a... I mean, there are, like, seven or eight Halloween movies. Yeah, but they just... And essentially so axed all of those. They did, and ex just except said, for one. Those didn't yeah, happen. Right. This did. And so that's what we did with Dark Fate. We are taking place after two again. So this is technically Terminator 3. The question was, were they going to actually make this work? Or was it going to be another Dark Phoenix for X-Men? Another failed attempt to redo that. And this, I thought, did work. I, I was pretty engaged throughout. There's a little bit of a lull in, in kind of the middle. But otherwise, I mean, those two hours flew by pretty quickly. Yeah. The whole time traveling thing never really added added up a lot. You know, the time travel is a messy thing. But they did a good job, I thought, of making sense of the, the nonsense that's in this movie. <laughs> Without giving anything away, because we're not going to do any spoilers, I, I just have to say that the first five minutes, well, the first couple minutes, I guess, are just completely nuts. And I could not believe how far we've come with CG and with... Uh, just effects in general. This this movie has some incredible moments. It it's got some. I didn't I didn't think it actually had anything that was like bad, like obvious CG work that no. I thought. Oh, this is just terrible. No, I, I mean everything looked. I mean realistic yeah. and. I mean for what it is, you know, as realistic as a a robot flying a helicopter and crashing it into you yeah. know, a building can look. A cool aspect though was when they did do like the the, the point of view of of Arnie from his robot. It was yeah. the original yes. you know his, robot uh, view and then when they did the, the newer robots they had the updated scans and and things like that. That was that was kind the, of a, a the cool Rev not Rev9 I Rev believe 9 is the is new the model. Movie. You got to see T2. The, the the villain in T2, the T1000 is is one of my favorite villains of all time. And uh this Rev9 as cool as he is, you know, from like a sci-fi aspect, I just the actor didn't really wow me at all. He wasn't really much of anything, you know, Arnie in the first one, just straight face. Oh he, yeah, there was, there's a fear to him, right? And, the, you could tell that that he was a, a robot, yes, but not a robot. This one, he just kind of acted like a, it's just a, cash. Yeah. He's a cash robot. He's a, he's a Rev Nine. You know, there's <laughs> been nine. He's the ninth revision, I assume, is what they mean by that. You brought up a good point about the the fear factor, and and that is one thing. That is one uh, criticism I can give this. The, the first two Terminators have an element of almost horror to them. You, you are constantly on edge when these characters show up. You, you, are, you are fearing for the, the hero's lives. And, and this, I never really get that. It's very much just an action movie. There's like a lot of explosions. There's lots of glass breaking. Like that Rev-9 hates windows. He, 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 yeah, in the future they they just don't have windshields. They don't have wind. Yeah, they so don't have windshields. He has no time to deal with it. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, no, I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> and speaking of action, this is a Tim Miller vehicle, I believe, is the director. He did Deadpool. If I got the name wrong, sorry. We're we're just we're fresh out of the theater. We're not doing any research. We're just we're just you know just uh, throwing thoughts out. In the name real time. was on the credits, but that was I, like I can't read ten minutes ago. That's why I go to movies. I can't read. Yeah. What did you think about the action? I thought it was pretty sweet. Yeah. There was there was a lot of action for I mean right away in the beginning. Yeah. And you know and then you know there was a couple of, of slower moments but you know it was kind of like a cat and mouse 
chase throughout you know the entire movie. Yeah, they did a good on. job of balancing the action and some of the quiet moments where it didn't feel like just a, a barf of exposition like some of these movies do. There, there was a lot of back and forth going on where um, they would show a flashback scene. There was actually one in particular where they kind of cut right at a pivotal moment to the flashback, and I even I turn to you and I'm like, well, so we're just done with this scene? <laughs> we don't even know how she got out of here. But they do. Have, they finally address it later, which I thought and was handled works. well. It yeah, all it, it all does. works out well. The stakes are pretty high. You're you're not really sure who's going to come out of this on top because you got Sarah Connor back in this. You got Arnold back in this. The Terminator. So you have these characters who are clearly a lot older. The actors are, mm -hmm. and they could just be sunset at any point in this movie. You don't know if they're going to make it to the final act or if they're going to be axed in the first minute. T nine or the Rev nine or whatever. It's it can. It's really difficult to kill. Like, <laughs> yeah. they, they try really hard. Um, so it, even then, you're still trying to figure out, well, how are they actually going to do it? I like how you could copy itself. That I was, was pretty cool. sweet. It just makes Man. a duplicate, and they kind of pal around a little bit. I would have liked a little bit more buddy buddy cop, kind of him um, you know, punching someone into his other self, and then you know, a yeah. little bit more of that back and forth like a Frisbee. <laughs> but he doesn't really do that. He doesn't high-five himself or anything, which... No. You know, maybe it was a missed opportunity. I don't know. More spoilers, there is several strong female leads. There are several strong female leads. But, but it doesn't seem forced, which I thought was well done. There was one There was one part yeah. where it, it's... it's there's, a, there's a few mysteries in this movie that I thought were all incredibly obvious um, because of the kind of ham-fisted dialogue just in one section when they're on the train. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, Sarah Connor is just kind of... Which we should talk about, actually. Um, this movie is Halloween again. This is the the last year or two years ago Halloween, as far as Sarah Connor goes. She's grizzled. She's rough. She's She's been waiting all these years to kill Terminators. And uh, she's fantastic, much like mm -hmm. Jamie Lee Curtis was. And what did you think about the actress Mackenzie? I don't, I don't know the actress's full name. It's Mackenzie something, but she played Grace, the... Mm -hmm. human uh hybrid at first i thought she was just another robot right but then they you know they, they made her that hybrid which was which was pretty cool because then there's also some learning that she didn't know how to she wasn't like you know programmed to kill right, terminator right. she was just a, a soldier having to go back in time and wing it yeah she so doesn't then, have all the answers right so <clears throat> that was a kind of a, a realistic touch to it i'd mm -hmm. say and i thought her and and Sarah Connor they had a, a pretty good back and forth. I gotta say the story. I just, I thought for sure they were just gonna go the lazy route where it's okay. Skynet's just keeps sending these Terminators like candy. They're just you know just turning a little machine and more are popping out, and it, it's layered. There's more. It's more going on than that, and it doesn't discredit the events of T1 and 2, which I really liked. You know, stopping Judgment Day absolutely happened, and this is just its own beast. Mm -hmm. I don't really have much else to say other than the score was great. <laughs> I thought the, the soundtrack yeah. was fantastic. Now, I do have a question for you, okay. seeing as I haven't seen uh, you know, uh, any of them. Right. Uh, in every remake movie, every future movie, thing like that, they, they like to throw a whole bunch of bones. Tips the hat, yes. tip of the hat, was wink, there, was wink there to any, the audience. Anything like that that was super standout, that was corny and cheesy and, you know. They they did a good job of, of um, you know, paying homage but not being over the top and okay. vomity about it. The, the, the one line that you probably knew because everybody knows that I'll be back. Uh -huh. They used that, that a couple of that times. That she says was, was good. Um, yeah, otherwise I don't think there was, there was much as far as kind of tips to the old ones. Didn't show hard and he got his gun or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think there was really any slander either to, to T3 or, well, there was that one lame scene in there with the shades. With oh, his glasses, yeah. But uh, that was just whatever. I don't give numbered ratings anymore because they're stupid. So I just kind of say and you know and then you look back and you say well, why did i give that a you know a nine <laughs> or a ten I'm, was i was i on so i just say if it's worth seeing if it's worth a trip to the theater and i think this one is worth the trip i agree worth the trip to the theater and yeah, okay we got two on. worth the trips you know get a soda get some popcorn have sit back and watch watch arnold oh that maybe one more thing is we should say i a lot of people were saying that, you know, is Arnold going to be in this for 20 minutes? Is he going to be it for a minute? And there's a good amount of Arnold. Mm -hmm. it, it's not his movie.
but he's definitely present. He's definitely in there more than I thought he was going to be. So take that for what you will and then get the hell out of here.